Hi, my name is Toby, and in 2019, I inherited an abandoned 248,000 square metre farm in the northwest corner of Tenerife, inside the Tenor National Park. I'm now clearing 50,000 square metres of overgrowth, restoring a 100-year-old farm building, rediscovering 200,000 square metres of virgin forest, and setting up the location for a self-sustainable lifestyle center where parents can send their teenagers to discover how their grandparents lived 100 years ago in a modern, eco-friendly, off-grid homestead while they star in their own YouTube reality TV show. Here they will find out about solar and wind energy, discover how water is sourced naturally, how to domesticate farm animals, plant, grow and harvest crops, and also enjoy outside pursuits such as hiking, climbing, mountain biking, nature watching and stargazing. And all this in one of the best climates of the world. Follow our journey from the very start as we begin and develop this adventure. A massive project to bring useful purpose to this abandoned land become an active part of our dream to bring a sustainable lifestyle to this place of outstanding natural beauty. We are the Buena Vista Rural Club. Old ways, new paths. Hello and welcome to another video from the Buena Vista Rural Club. And it's the new year and we're beginning a new project. Here we've got the generator ready and through here, we're gonna to start to dig the foundations here for the wall that's gonna be built in the next few days. So stay with us on this journey and you'll see the wall developing. We've got the bricks, we've got the cement, we've got the steel rebars, to put in them, there they are, here and down there. Um, and we're ready to start work. No, no, no. So I've been using the jackhammer. And my hobby is doing the cleaning, the clearing here. 
so as to open up this channel where we're going to put the foundations of the wall. Okay, so we're getting to the end of the uh, dig now. We've gone down 25 centimeters all along this ridge so as to put in a breeze block footing. This week we've been using the jackhammer and the heavy duty pole and the, the digger. A little bit more to take out here to make it even and we'll be and we'll be done. Just a bit more to do. And this, and this is through the bedrock. So we're actually down to the volcanic rock which is uh, ground level and, and below but we're digging into solid rock here luckily it's uh, this crumbly kind of rock It's now coming up to half past three in the afternoon and we've been going since uh, 10 o'clock this morning. So a pretty intensive uh, piece of digging. About five hours, five and a half hours. So there it is, the trench. That's going to be for the wall, that's going to be for the waste pipes, which are there behind the spade. And they come from that side. Through the wall, and out. So look what we've done today. We've dug this trench out, down 25 centimeters. That's taken us five and a half hours. Through the waste pipes are going. We knew that. Waste pipe comes over this side. And we've done a little tidy up. Here's the materials that we've got ready to build the wall. Hey, Visto. How are you doing? Tomorrow we'll be doing the same thing here, along this edge. To get the wall up here. There are the blocks 
for that one. Good old tidy up. And we've been tidying up the uh, the drive from here. And in here we've got the lights working. A couple of bulbs in there at the moment. Kitchen's working. Got the coffee. Just for the time being, it's here. Whilst we get this ready here, tidy it up a bit. Hey, we're in here. What's up? Come on. What's up? Let me got some plants. bathrooms that's the sitting room that's the other room that's where we've been digging today that's the kitchen that's the other kitchen which is going to be joined this is the patio this is the other room and these are the beams and how they work and the roof which overlaps here so the water runs down and then off So thank you very much for watching so far the reconstruction of the wall here in blocks. That's going to be happening over the next uh, couple of episodes, I think. And you'll be seeing this area transform this one behind me into two toilets over the long term. But to see that, you'll need to subscribe. And I really hope that you'll follow us over the course of the next weeks, months, even years. Um, because we're going to be doing a weekly uh, video every, uh, every week, obviously, um, and we'll be showing you the uh, evolution of the project. And this is a project. Um, I know it's called the Buena Vista Rural Club. That's where we hope to get to one day. In the meantime, it's a lot of investment, a lot of time, a lot of uh, work, putting together not only the videos, but also doing the work of the restoration. And we've come a long way. This last year, we've done such a lot. Now we've got electricity provided by the sun. We've got water coming out of our own water uh, gallery that comes out the mountain. And we're gonna put all those things together to make this into a really comfortable homestead. And we want you to share in that journey uh, as we develop the agriculture as well. Um, we've already planted the aloes. We're going to be planting potatoes very shortly. And we want you to come along on the journey with us. So please subscribe, like, and share this video. But most important of all, comment down below. You need to be logged in to comment, but please do comment in the YouTube because it does help us enormously with the algorithm and also it allows us to communicate with you and create a relationship. And we'd really like to do that because we'd like you to come here and visit us when you have an opportunity to do so. And come and see us, come from the virtual to the reality. Please, it's a beautiful place, you won't be sorry. And we look forward to seeing you. Anyway, on with the build. Perdice.
¿Qué te parece? Espléndido. Very good. Muy buen día. Hay que quitar esas matas de ahí. Good morning. So this morning, what we're doing is we're putting the trench into this side. So I'm measuring here 30 centimeters, which is approximately a foot, which will be the width of the trench that we're going to be putting in here today along this dotted line. And Hadi and I will be digging that out today so that the wall of blocks, which is behind you, here, these blocks can go in there as a wall tied into the old stone wall. Then the stone wall would be rebuilt behind it and form the wall to that side of the uh, building. Barrote. This is called a barrote. It's used in the banana plantations for chopping off the the the, uh, the hijos, which are the uh, suckers that come out on the banana plant. No good, I'm gonna have to take my watch off. <laughs> oh. We're taking it in turns to do this because it's pretty hefty work. Look at the floor actually vibrate. Hey! Tree roots. We found tree roots growing out the wall. Yeah.
we've done a bit here the bit that we can do manually now we've got down to the bedrock and we're gonna to have to dig this out with the jackhammer which we're getting ready to do and I'm already warmed up it's what 11 12 so we've been going oh less than three quarters of an hour at this point now the job gets serious about uh, a third of the way now um, time is 12 15 so another hour has gone by and we've managed to get quite a lot of it out we're using the uh, diamond cutter to cut channels and then from the channels taking it out with this and that seems to be much better than and faster progress than yesterday but then the ground here is quite a bit wetter than uh, the ground was next door so the rock crumbles quicker. But this is bedrock. This is just pure bedrock.
here you can see the extent of the bedrock where we're actually chiseling out the rock to make the crack. And that's the trench in which the breeze blocks will go, the foundations of the wall. And the breeze block will come up this way and it will solidify this, the stone wall, letting the roof actually rest on it. And then the roof for this room will rest on the old stone wall, which will be repaired once the breeze blocks are there. And there's something for that, for that to, the stones to lean against and be built against as it goes up.
So here it is, the footing. The other, the other wall. That's the wall that's fallen down. There's the footing. That's 25 centimeters deep into which one of these blocks will go to make the footing.